Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining the Hong Kong Tourism Board's online tourism update this morning. Just to introduce myself, my name is Melody, and I will be your MC for today. 欢迎各位，多谢你哋参加今日由香港旅游发展局主办嘅网络直播旅业简报会。欢迎各位，谢谢你们参加今天由香港旅游发展局主办的线上直播旅业简报会。Simultaneous interpretations in English, Cantonese, and Putonghua are available for this web conference. You can choose the language by clicking the pull-down menu on the bottom right side of your screen. 今日嘅簡報會將會提供即時全譯服務，各位可以喺熒幕嘅右下方，誒可以選擇收聽英語、粵語，又或者係普通話嘅即時全譯。今天的简报会将会提供同声转译服务，各位可以在屏幕的右下方，就是可以提取收听英语、粤语或者是普通话的同声转译。The theme of today's conference is Together Towards New Horizons. Apart from sharing our plans for recovery, leveraging on the opportunities ahead, we have invited here today Three industry leaders to talk about some of the latest tourism infrastructure developments in Hong Kong as we step into a new landscape. Not only that, if you have questions during today's program, you are welcome to submit them in the text box that is on the right-hand side of your screen. Our guest speakers and HKTB representatives will answer some of the received questions after the presentations. Without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Pang Yu Kai, Chairman of the Hong Kong Tourism Board, for the opening remarks. Dr. Pang, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, distinguished guests. A very warm welcome to all of our speakers and guests at Tourism Update 2022. I'm sure you'll feel the excitement of the city that Dr. Pang has shared with us. Once again, thank you very much, Dr. Pang. The government plays an important role in driving tourism recovery, and today we are honored to have Ms. Vivian Sum, Commissioner for Tourism, the Government of Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, to share with us the Tourism Commission's latest initiatives. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Sum. Please, Chairman. Dane, friends from the travel trade, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you very much, Miss Sum. Thank you once again to provide deeper insights into how culture, sports, and tourism integration will shape Hong Kong's future image as a travel destination. We are delighted to have guest speakers from different industry sectors to share about the newest infrastructure developments in Hong Kong. Let's now welcome our first speaker, Mrs. Betty Feng Cheng Sook Yi, Chief Executive Officer of the West Kowloon Cultural District Authority, for her sharing on how the West Kowloon Cultural District enhances Hong Kong's tourism appeal as a hub for arts and cultural exchange. Mrs. Feng, please. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Feng. Vivian and Dane, thank you very much for inviting me to join the Tourism Updates 2022 and giving me an opportunity to introduce the West Kowloon Cultural District project. Airport operations,、uh, airport operations of the Airport Authority Hong Kong, and today she will talk about the upcoming development of the airport city and its significance in strengthening Hong Kong as an aviation hub. Mrs. Chang, please. I like to、uh, thank uh, Tourism Board for giving us the opportunity this morning to talk about our airport and its future development.、Um, we're actually helping each other.、Uh, for example, with、uh, Shenzhen, we have、uh, when the border was open, we actually have a connection、uh, from Shenzhen. We call through、uh, through Ju- through Shenzhen、uh, Hong Kong a、uh, flight, so、uh, they can、uh, actually connect a、uh, uh, flight. 
from uh, mainland domestic leg and also international leg easily with the transportation and also one ticket from beginning to the end. We're also working with Jihai closely on the same concept, uh, both for cargo and passenger. Uh, so when they cannot directly fly, uh, fly to Hong Kong, they can go through Jihai or Shenzhen or even Guangzhou um, uh, with a lot of uh, connection. And this actually uh, uh, using the strength, um, a strength of uh, both sides. One can provide more domestic connection. One like us will be able to provide uh, a lot of international connection with high frequency. as a very uh, economic, uh, very uh, reasonable uh, price ticket. Thank you very much, Mrs. Jiang, and thank you so much for the presentation as well as all of the initiatives that we're definitely looking forward to. Very enlightening. Thank you once again. And uh, now let's uh, move on to our last speaker for this session. That is Mr. James Irving, and he is the director, commercial of Kitex Sports Park. And today he will tell us more about the project and its potential for future tourism collaborations. Mr. Irvine, please. Thank you very much, everybody. And, and first, uh, just like to take this opportunity to thank Thank you, Ms. Lo, for the fascinating news and the sharing. Thank you once again for that. We've learned a lot. Now we've come to the last session of the day, which is the Q&A session with HKTB Chairman Dr. Peng and Executive Director Mr. Chang to answer one or sorry to answer some of the questions that we have received during the event. So let's take a look at the first one that we have here. Um, let me see. So uh, this person says, thank you for this very interesting presentation. We can't wait to welcome tourists back to Hong Kong. Uh, you recently announced that you expected 9.6 million visitors to Hong Kong between the 1st of July and the 30th, uh, the 31st of December in 2022. Uh, the question is, how do you come up with this number and where will these visitors come from? Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's web conference, and we hope today's event has provided you with a deeper insights into the upcoming and uh, also the potential development of Hong Kong's tourism. And the Hong Kong's Tourism Board will continue our concerted efforts with our trade partners in promoting Hong Kong as a travel destination. Together towards new horizons, we believe the tourism industry will thrive again soon. On behalf of the Hong Kong Tourism Board, thank you once again for joining us today. Have a great day and goodbye.